Hi everyone and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet. Don't you find it funny that some people continuously tell us that Islam was just a belief, people's belief, it's between them and their god. We misunderstand it and shouldn't judge it. But then an Islamic apologist comes and calls you enemy of Islam because you criticize and question Islam. I want to waste a little bit of your time today to talk about a pop star among Muslim missionaries in the UK. Muslim missionaries call their activities dawah, which stands for invitation. They are supposed to invite people to Islam, but their behavior, their appearance, and mostly their intellect usually does the opposite of inviting people. And our subject today is a perfect example for just that. This guy, Ali Dawa, as he is popularly known. I've been made aware of a video he published recently, in which he talks about me again. He just can't stop, he talks about me all the time. He calls me a clown, a fraud, fake, a boy, an evildoer, an enemy of Allah, and an animal. And why is he doing that? Redwan, the fake clown, this is a fake clown who insults the prophet if he's an evildoer, yeah, he's a boy. He's someone who insults Allah and his messenger like that woman, where is she? He's an enemy of Islam who insults the prophet. I believe he's an animal, he's a clown. I hurt his prophet's feelings, very sad. Poor prophet, poor 50 year old man with a six year old wife. Isn't it hilarious that their prophet needs the protection of these cartoon characters like Ali Dawa. Oh, Ali Dawa, can you please help me? These Islamophobes are hurting my feelings. What do these people even think they are doing when they say, oh, I can insult this person, this enemy of Allah and this animal because he insults my prophet and my religion. My Allah doesn't do anything about it, but I, Ali Dawa, am here to protect my almighty Allah and his holy prophet, who was an emperor pretending to be a humble man. A brutally polygamous child lover who massacred the masses and installed religious supremacy. Ali Dawa calls me enemy of Islam in front of such a religion. I just want to clarify this. An enemy of Islam under Islamic rule would deserve the death penalty for the things he says publicly, for having opinions. I would be killed in Ali Dawa's ideal world for my views. And he insults me and hides behind the excuse that I insult his poor prophet and his poor religion, his defenseless, sweet religion. What he also does is he goes on and asserts that I didn't know the six pillars of Iman, of faith which is actually the six articles of faith. And that's why I am a fraud. This little assertion needs a little bit more clarification to show how dishonest Ali Dawa is, which is not very untypical in the Dawa industry. Ali Dawa recently contacted me because he wanted me to come to London where he could smash me, which is a very flattering offer. But I rejected his offer after asking him several times to be a bit respectful and to make a mature exchange possible. He said he wouldn't respect me because I was a fraud and a boy and an enemy of Islam. I told him that he is and will stay a joke. Later I started trolling him, which was even to my surprise very effective and hilarious, because he has the intellect of a loaf of bread. And once I got tired, I said, all right Ali, I've had my five minutes of fun with you and laughed my ass off. Let me talk straight and seriously. But at the same time, he apparently sent this message. And while I was typing, he asked me about the six pillars of faith. Of course, I totally ignored his nonsense and kept typing this. I told him that he is a joke, that I usually talk to more mature people, that having a discussion with his attitude would make me feel shame, and told him that he is not even a good Muslim with his fury and childishness. Which is debatable considering that this is a very popular attitude among Muslim missionaries. My little talk of honor, maturity and humanity must have hurt him, because what he did next was to claim that I didn't know the six pillars of faith in Islam, and he started spreading such a stupid accusation. He then made an entire video about this. Now, now, the thing Ali Dawa asks of me, the six pillars of faith, which is again actually called the six articles of faith, was a test to see if I am knowledgeable in Islam or not. Let me tell you something about these six articles of faith. These six articles of faith are something that Muslim children learn when they are sent to Quran courses early in their lives by their parents. I went to one of those courses when I was, I don't even know how old I was, I was a little child, and I was sent to those courses together with other Muslim children, children of Muslim families, and we learned those articles of faith there. I learned it together with people who have good memories, but who spent the rest of their lives 
clubbing, drinking alcohol, having sex with numerous people, being anything but a good Muslim. That is what Ali Dawa asks me to test if I am a knowledgeable ex-Muslim or not. So if Ali Dawa asked one of my clubbing friends about the six articles of faith, they would probably know it and qualify as a knowledgeable former Muslim or as a knowledgeable Muslim. Although they are not good Muslims at all and they won't be able to answer basic questions about Islam. Of course, Ali Dawa would never ask those clubbing Muslims whether they know the six articles of faith. He would rather ask someone who left Islam, because whether someone who is a Muslim knows about Islam or not is not relevant. That question only comes up when you leave Islam and criticize Islam. What great hypocrisy. It's like asking a professional chef if he knows how to cut a tomato. It's like asking a butcher if he knows how to cut meat. If you ask the butcher such a question, they would probably think, what is wrong with you? And Ali Dawa would then probably run away like a 10 year old and say, ha ha ha, look, he's a fake butcher. He doesn't know how to cut meat because he didn't answer my question. And guess what? Ali Dawa did exactly that in a video that he made about me without even noticing the irony because he has the brain of a turkey. You are probably mentally 10 years old if you go and ask them those questions. Or if you ask a learned former Muslim who talks about so many aspects of Islam every day if he knows the six pillars of faith. Or at least they definitely think that you are a complete idiot and will ignore your question. Ali Dawa doesn't want to challenge me on so many things that I talk about because he knows very well that he can't, which is why he asks me such a dumb question that he knows I will ignore anyway and then goes out declaring that I couldn't answer his question and that I am a fraud, not a real ex-Muslim, that I left Islam only in order to have a Western girlfriend and sex and drink alcohol and to buy a house with interest. <laughs> Fake ex-Muslims, <laughs> lol. Ali Dawa, honestly, you think that no one can leave Islam and be genuine and honest about it and be also so critical about it. Everyone who left Islam left it for personal reasons. It's always their fault and they do it for money and fame because there are so many among us who became rich and famous by criticizing Islam. You simply can't believe that people genuinely have a problem with the garbage human that you call a prophet. But hey, they do. You can't believe that people have a problem with the absolutely wicked ideology that that garbage human created, which you call your religion. Because you don't want to believe that. You want to believe that everyone who criticizes it just does it for an ulterior motive. Because that's more comfortable to believe than actually accepting that people have a problem with Islam. Guess what? Most people do have a problem with Islam. You also don't understand all of that because in your world, intellectualism doesn't hold any weight. In your world, in your Islamic world, poor people still feed the rich, fat guy who preaches to them, who is not very much smarter than you, which is a very low bar. Ali Dawa doesn't even realize how vile and hostile he is by declaring that pretty much everyone who left Islam and speaks about why they left Islam was a fraud. And then he is offended when his religion is criticized and called intolerant. Ali Dawa is supposed to be kind and forgiving and invite people to Islam, to his fulfilling religion. Instead, he thrives on and celebrates hostilities and calls people enemies because they criticize his religion. And that is entirely motivated by his religion. In fact, I offered him a very easy solution to solve our disagreements. I offered him a moderated debate with the ethics of a debate during the debate. He rejected that, claimed victory, went on and started slandering me and lying about me because I rejected an offer that he knew I would reject from the very beginning. Flying to London with a ticket that he buys and being smashed by Ali Dawa in the streets by a kid who told people he would tell his daughter that she was now ready for marriage once she hit the age of nine. Yes, that Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa can't invite you to anything fulfilling because there is nothing fulfilling about his religion Islam. It doesn't make him happy either. Instead, Ali Dawa is sad and he's tormented about how cruel this world is for a religious person like him. Ali Dawa is currently working on a marriage documentary that he has been preparing for over three years. He is making a marriage documentary. He's gonna tell people how to get married and what marriage is and how stressful a marriage can be and how to deal with the person you want to make your wife and how to find that person and how to deal with their parents when they reject you. A marriage documentary. What an ambition. I'll be back everyone in five years. I need to save the world and make humankind better for my Allah 
by making a marriage documentary so everyone can have better marriages and be married to a perfect man like me, Ali Dawa. Don't know where to get married? Watch Ali Dawa's marriage documentary. Don't know what wedding cake you should pick? Watch Ali Dawa's marriage documentary. Don't know how to pick a sexually satisfying and intelligent spouse? Watch Ali Dawa's marriage documentary. What is a marriage documentary? What are you, Ali Dawa Grande? He really is, something like a pop star. The intellect fits perfectly. I mean, just search for Ali Dawa on YouTube. It looks worse than YouTube's trending tab. What is really creepy, though, is the comment that he left below. Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. You have all been waiting nearly three years, and alhamdulillah, this little trailer just gives you a little overview of what's about to come. This journey of my life to find a partner has been the biggest trial of my life. And I know every single one of you can relate to this. No. So hold on tight and get your pens and papers ready. Because this is my story. This is my blood, sweat and tears. I'm not giving up and pursuing the halal route and saying no to Zina. Islamically unlawful sexual intercourse, for example, fornication or adultery. It was hell on earth for me, but it was damn worth it. I made a covenant with Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and fulfilled it to the best of my ability. Quran 17.32 Do not even approach adultery. It is indecent and an evil act. What the hell was that? This sounds like Ali Dawa wants to jump on everyone and everything that has a hole. But it is a real brutal struggle and his faith in Allah and his guilt is holding him back. This is an admission of the sexual frustration of a Dawa kid in Speaker's Corner. I honestly feel a little bit sad for him right now. His religious delusion tortures him and frustrates him. It makes him sexually frustrated, which makes me understand that blurring out the sensitive body parts of women who talk to him and looking away is not only a religious duty for him, but also a very real personal challenge. And his biggest challenge with his religion might be to abstain from masturbating at the sight of every woman who just approaches him and wants to ask him what his problem is. On the other hand, after seeing this, I'm kind of happy that he told me he wouldn't shake my hand because I'm an enemy of Islam. I don't really know where to go with all of this, but seriously, Ali Dawa, you are a terrible person and... I also kind of feel bad for you after seeing all of this. I mean, seek help. Maybe my offer still stands. I think if Ali Dawa is such a big problem with me and other former Muslims, he should just accept a moderated debate in a fair environment. A moderated debate where everyone gets his time and speaks bound by certain rules is the fairest form of a debate for everyone. If you have a problem with me, just let's do it. Otherwise, please stop slandering me. It just doesn't seem very right. And it doesn't really help make people believe that Islam is a great religion and that Muslim missionaries are very honest people. And it doesn't help your image either, Ali Dawa, which is, to be honest, very poor. I don't know if there is anything to say about that. Anyways, I'm, I'm, just, I'm sorry for wasting everyone's time. And I hope this wasn't too much. Not for Ali Dawa. He deserves every bit of it. I hope this wasn't too much for all the other people who had to, who had to see what, in what kind of world people have to live in when they are tormented by Islamic sexual frustration. Seriously, Ali Dawa, stop it. Get some help. And we will all still be eagerly waiting for the marriage documentary. Please save the world. The world needs better marriages. Thank you so much. And as always, stay away from Islam. It's obviously not good for you.